Now this Good Friday afternoon with all the stories making headlines here and around the world. The latest ITV News. Good afternoon. Moscow ordered more cuts to Britain's diplomatic ranks in Russia today as the row over the Salisbury nerve agent attack continued to escalate. It came after Britain's ambassador in Moscow, along with representatives of other countries, were summoned to Russia's foreign ministry. Here, the condition of the daughter of the former Russian spy is said to be improving, though her father remains critically ill. Paul Davies has the latest. From the Kremlin today, more protests of innocence and retaliation. Britain's ambassador to Moscow, Laurie Bristow, summoned to be told more of his diplomats will be kicked out. Representatives of every country that has backed the UK in expelling Russian diplomats over the nerve agent poisoning called in to be told they too will face tit-for-tat treatment. Action Russia's ambassador to Washington attempted to justify on American television this morning. If anybody slap your cheek, your face, what will be a reaction from your side? You will think, not you will think, you will try to do and you will retaliate. It goes without saying. An argument the White House called unjustifiable. They don't need to act like a victim. Russia should not be acting like a victim. The only victims in this situation are the two victims in the hospital in the UK right now. There is now the possibility one of those victims, former spy Sergei Skripal's daughter, Yulia, may be able to throw light on this murky business. Said to be making a rapid recovery, even able to sit up and talk in her hospital bed, she could be an invaluable witness. Investigators already know it was here at the house in Salisbury, where the former double agent lived, that would-be assassins tried to take his life. The highest concentration of nerve agent was found on the front door that has now been removed for further tests. The counter-terror investigation is moving forward as the diplomatic fallout escalates. Paul Davis, ITV News. The anti-Semitism row dogging Jeremy Corbyn has deepened after he was sent an open letter from 39 Labour MPs and peers. In the last hour, the Labour leader himself, in his seasonal message, admitted the party needs to do better over anti-Semitism. Well, our political correspondent, Emily Morgan, is here. You've seen this message. What does he have to say for himself? Well, he was criticised yesterday for having stayed silent on this issue. Uh, but today, as you say, he has uh, recorded this Easter message where he does try to tackle head-on the row over anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Uh, as you say, he says that he says the party has to do better and he reiterates uh, that he is an ally to Jews. And this is an extract of what he had to say. It's easy to denounce anti-Semitism when you see it in other countries in other political movements. It's sometimes harder to see it when it's closer to home. We in the Labour movement will never be complacent about anti-Semitism. We all need to do better. I'm committed to ensuring the Labour Party is a welcoming and secure place for Jewish people. Well, look, this is a pretty ugly row and it's been raging for over a week now. Jeremy Corbyn has tried to get a handle on it over the last week. Uh, he emailed uh, members of the Labour Party yesterday. He wrote to uh, Jewish leaders at the beginning of the week. But for some of his own party, that's simply not enough. Forty of his MPs have written him a letter saying they want actions now and not just words in the letter and they say they are deeply concerned that Christine Shawcroft remains a member of the National Executive Committee. Now of course she is the woman who supported a council candidate accused of Holocaust denial. Uh, she has stood down as head of the disputes panel uh, but these MPs now want her suspended from the ruling body. I spoke to Siobhan McDonough earlier. She, earlier. She's one of the signatories and uh, this is what she had to say. She said Mr Corbyn needs to really act strongly now. Mm. We've got enough words and letters to cover Nelson's column. What we need now is action. People are judged by their actions and we need Jeremy to act. Well, Christine Shawcroft herself has released a, a pretty strong statement saying this whole row has been stirred up just to attack Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Corbyn himself hasn't responded to this letter, but um, I think he probably will in time. It'll be difficult to ignore given how deeply mm. this row is now running. It is. Emily, thank you for that update.
At least three people are said to have been killed in clashes between Palestinian protesters and Israeli security forces in Gaza. The flashpoint happened when flag-waving crowds marched on the border fence with Israel. Israeli security forces say they opened fire after demonstrators rolled burning tyres and threw stones. Palestinian officials claim nearly 400 people were also hurt. Prince Charles has issued his first ever recorded Easter message today. With its echoes of the Queen's Christmas message, it's being seen as a further sign of how Prince Charles is preparing to become king. His words included support for persecuted Christians around the world. This Easter, I want to salute the fortitude of all those who, whatever their faith, are persecuted for remaining faithful to the true essence of their beliefs. The death was announced today of the veteran comedy actor Bill Maynard. He was 89. His long career in show business reached its peak with the role of the lovable curmudgeon Claude Greengrass in the popular ITV series Heartbeat. His family say he died after breaking his hip in a fall. That's the actor and comedian Bill, Ma Bill Maynard who has died. Finally, Britain's world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is at the weigh-in for this weekend's title fight. Uh, his hotly anticipated unification bout against New Zealand's Joseph Parker takes place in Cardiff on Saturday night. A total of three world belts on the line, Joshua says he wants to simplify the madness. Up to 80,000 fans are expected to pack the city's Principality Stadium for the fight. And that's it for this lunchtime from me. I'm going to be back here at about a quarter to seven. Hope to see you then. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.